We're here at the Blonde 2.0 offices in Tel Aviv, Israel. We're seeing a bunch of different startups uh, from across the startup scene here uh, in Israel. And uh, this one is uh, called Wibbits. They do automatic video from text. And uh, you have to sort of see it to understand what the heck that means. But we're going to see it right now. Who are you? Hi, my name is Yotam Cohen. I'm the co-founder of VP BizDev of uh, Wibbits. And um, we actually founded the company three years ago, right out of college in Herzliya as part of an entrepreneurship co program called the Zell program. Yeah. And w what is Wibbits? You, you, you told me uh, you do automatic video from text, but w what does that mean? <laughs> so if you think about it, for the past 300 years, the way we consume content haven't really changed. So we actually took the newspaper, the big old newspaper, and put it on a small screen of our phones. And uh, we have much more devices that were featured than we actually have today. And if you think about it as a person, your attention span to actually read long pieces of articles has gone much lower, and we have an overload of content. So at Webits, we solved it by creating the play button for the web. So we turn any text into a short video automatically in a very, very large scale. And it does it really fast, right? Yeah, right. so it takes us today between five seconds to 10 seconds to create a video out of existing text. And today we produce more than 10,000 videos a day. And I, when, I, when I heard about this idea, I was like, why do I want to create a video from text? But it's really a lot of fun. You aim it at an article. And what do you do to start to make the video? What so does your system do? It's a very, very complex algorithm that uses a lot of natural language process. And the idea is to actually understand what the text is talking about. So the process is that we extract the text from the article, then we analyze it. And the algorithm actually knows what the article is talking about. So if it's a sports game, or if it's a news article, but also if it's a soccer game or if it's a tennis game, right? And then we summarize the article. So in the end, you'll get a video that is between 30 seconds to one minute long, very short form videos. And then we match the best visuals to represent the text. So we use images, we use video footage, and we use also a lot of infographics. So for scores, days, percentage, stocks going up, going down, we can actually visualize it using infographics. We turn the text into speech according to also accents. So we can use British accent for British sources and things like that. Wow. And then we have a cool video you can actually watch instead of read. So let's watch one of those videos right now. And it's what, 30, 20, 30 seconds long? Something like that. Depends on the content, depends on the length of the article. Tesla Motors offered an outlook for the second quarter that disappointed investors, sending shares down more than 7% in after hours trading. Tesla posted a higher than expected first quarter operating profit and said its gross margins in the current quarter would increase slightly. Tony Parker scored 22 points, Danny Green added 21 on 7 three-pointers, and San Antonio used a dominant third quarter to pummel Oklahoma City 112-77 Wednesday night and take a 2-0 lead in the Western Conference Finals. Jay-Z is retiring again this time not as a musician, but as a co-owner of the Brooklyn Nets. Jay-Z purchased his stake in the Nets in January of 2004, investing a reported $1 million in the team. Estimates say he turned $1 million into $2.3 million over the course of nine years, a gain of 135%. Over the same period of time, Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway stock has risen by about 85%. Being a member of the Nets organization surpassed some of my greatest ambitions, Jay-Z said. So uh, that's a lot of fun, man. Um, how did you get the idea to do this? Um, so the idea came, as always, as a personal need. So we, when we were studying, you wake up in the morning, you open your, your desktop or whatever it is, and then you try to catch up on the latest news. You, know, you open 10 different tabs and open what's going on right now. And we asked ourselves, why can't I have my own play button? I can click play and get all the news brought to me. And it, it, you see today a lot of trend of video, people watch more videos today. Like I said, don't want to actually read long pieces of articles with the overload of content. And, and we are solving a real, real problem in terms of the publishers. So today they try to find more ways to monetize their content. 
and we actually repackaged their content into something much more fun, much more enga engaging and much more monetizable. Yeah. So you can actually generate 10 to 15 times more in terms of revenues because they will have in-video ads. Ah, okay, so your, your business model is to put some uh, ads in, in the videos. It, are they at the front or in the, in the middle of the so video? So it depends. It depends on the content, it depends on the publisher. Uh, but actually, we work with the publisher. They embed one line of code on their site and we automatically videoize their entire content. And then we can also insert ads. Depends also on the publisher if we can connect to their ad server or bring our own ads. And then we do a split on the ref share on, on, the, on the ads there. That's cool. Uh, and I assume I can share these videos on Facebook or Twitter or Google Plus, whatever, right? Definitely. You can share it everywhere. We have an HTML5 player, so it plays everywhere. And we have an iOS app we just released a few months ago. And the idea is actually to bring our, our technology to the world. Yeah, you can choose any source you want there from TechCrunch to CNN and actually watch the content instead of reading it on such a small screen. That's really cool. Um, tell me about the company. How, how is it funded and uh, how many employees do you have? So we are currently 15 people in the company and we are based here and we're going to open an office in New York in the coming year. We are two founders, myself and uh, Zohar Dayan. And we founded the company about three years ago. Uh, we managed to raise so far approximately $3 million. Yeah. And our main investor is Horizons Ventures, a private equity fund of uh, Li Kaxing. Yeah, out uh, of China, huh? Uh, Hong Kong based, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hong Kong, China. <laughs> yeah. So uh, he invested uh, a bit over $2 million in the company. And we have also a few micro VCs, uh, Lul Ventures, Initial Capital, and Kima Ventures. Yeah. And yeah, and we're growing the company right now, so it's, it's exciting. Very, very cool. Uh, and we get it at Wibbits.com. We're in the App Store, right? Yeah. Wibbits. Yeah, Wibbits.com. You can follow us on Instagram as well. We post our videos to Instagram, so you can actually catch up on the news in, in your stream. Very cool. Well, thanks for coming out and showing Thank to me. Thank you it's very really much. really awesome. <laughs> thanks.